What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for August 6th, 2020. So we got a lot to go over, so we're going to try to blitz through it as fast as possible today. So let's start off with the daily rewards. Everybody is going to be getting three heroic scrolls every day, like always. That is nice. We do have the summoning event for the new hero, Ignis. We'll go over her skills very shortly, but we do have the five star heroes chances doubled. So that's always good. And you have the guaranteed hero copy after 500 summons. So you're guaranteed if you do 2000 scrolls to get a minimum of eight hero copies, which is good. Uh, there is a little side caveat. We have a bonus to this summoning event. So if you build her to certain levels, you will get extra rewards. You'll get elite five star, light elite five star, dark elite five, elite five star. But the cool one is if you build her to E3, they are gonna give you an extra copy of Ignis. So that is more protection that if you get really bad luck and you only get the eight copies from the event, if you build her, they will give you the ninth. And then of course, there's a hundred relics at the very end as well. So that's not too bad. As always in the summoning event, she is the 400 point reward. You can pick up those precious soul stones at 300 points. Ice Blink is the bonus at 200. And as always, you get those 15 relics per loop, which is great. Now we're going to wait. We're going to go over her skills here in a little bit. We're going to wrap everything up and then jump into the video and explain what her skills do. We have the Alter Flash Exchange event. And yes, we do have Terra and Penny in here once again. If you guys remember, I think it was Sherlock's event or something like that. Sherlock or Ithaca's. It was the exact two copies right here. Terra and Penny. So Penny is 5,500. Terra is 6,500. Not too bad, honestly. The Palace of Eternity is opening up once again. So you can swap either Ithaca, Sherlock, Drake, Russell, or Rogan copies for Ignis. At least as of right now, probably not the best idea. Maybe if you have extra Ithqua copies and you have, I mean, you really only need one Ithqua. I mean, honestly, you only need one. But if you have extras, maybe you could do a swap into the new hero if you don't want to save for the next light or dark hero. And the Palace of Crystal is here once again, as always. So if you do heroic summonings, you will be getting those eternal crystals for swapping heroes out. Remember, it takes 90, yeah, I think it's 10. 10 crystals per copy for the first nine copies, and then it goes up to 15 per copy after that. And of course, it does have that unlock feature with the keys where you got to buy the $100 packages to get the extra, the extra resources. So just remember that we have the second week of the Grey Dwarfs Blessing. So pick up that gear, maybe some priest gear if you want for her. Could be pretty good. We'll have to see. There is a special package this week. So there is a puppet package where you get a nine star puppet, 5,000 gems and 120 heroic scrolls. My guess is this is probably going to be like a, uh, I don't know. could be a hundred dollar pack. hundred dollar pack would be good value. Again, good value for spenders. You guys know what I mean. When I say good value, you know, I mean DH value. Okay. So, um, but honestly it might be cheaper. If it is, that'll be cool. Anything on under 100 means it's much better than the normal packages. So remember that. The value packages are here as well. And yes, we got those keys in that top package. So if you need those extra resources, you're wailing out like we are going to on Thursday night's 24-hour live stream tonight. Make sure you come by the live stream. We will be doing this as well. And of course, couple function updates. We are getting both Drake and Russell in the elite five star shards this week, which is gonna be amazing. Again, come by the 24 hour stream that we're gonna be doing over on our Twitch channel tonight, starting at the event release. And we're gonna probably be building like two more Russells. So we're gonna have four Russells on our team, maybe an extra Rogan, we'll have to see how it goes. I'm not like those vile animals. All 
right, so there is Ignis. You got to see her skills in action. Let's go over them, starting with the active Blessing of Dragon Flame. The active skill deals X amount of damage to frontline enemies only, heals the ally with the lowest health by 50% of her max HP. So you're probably gonna wanna build her very, very tanky. Maybe a King of Demons that we might that we just got, pretty much, yeah, yeah, could be good. And increases the nearest ally, AKA the hero who is closest to her position with the forward slot taking priority uh, by 40% of damage reduction for three rounds and 100 energy. So fills that energy bar all the way up. Um, so here's a little graphic right here that kind of shows you what they're talking about as far as nearest ally. So in this situation, number two, slot two would get the, the buffs essentially. If two is dead, it would then prioritize to four. I believe, I'm, I'm guessing here, after if two and four are dead, I believe it would then prioritize slot one. If one is also dead, I then think it would slot five, six, whoever is live left left. We don't really know, and again, I'm putting this out before every last bit of spoilers out from the, the Chinese weed chat, so it might change, but that is the way I'm taking it, is it will prioritize slots two and four, or yeah, two and four, but if two and four are dead, I think it'll go to slot one, so that's pretty good. The first passive, the, the basically stats, Blood of Dragons, we have the uh, HP, Increased by 40%, damage reduction by 30%, heal effect by 25%, and speed by 60 Now that speed one's really interesting. I'm wondering how fast they're going to make her. Because there's not many fast abyss heroes in the game. So could be cool if, he, if, if she fights for speed. But I think you're going to want to build her super tanky with a king of demons. HP, damage reduce, and bonus HP. We'll have to see. Her, uh, her next passive skill, a life breath. That is, each basic attack consumes 25% of her own health pool to heal three allies that have the lowest HP for 25% of her max HP and increases them by 15% damage reduction by two rounds. That's pretty cool. I mean, it does hurt herself. That's true. So having like a 10 star for the heal part of it, it's not going to be great. But if you have an E5 of her, that's going to be a lot of healing power she puts out. And then, of course, her last passive skill, an on-death passive, just like a bell rain. Uh, Eternity of the Dragon Soul. When she dies, she will heal the nearest ally, so again, the nearest feature, by 100% of their max HP. So my guess is if they have an Amon Ra curse on them, they instantly die, but we'll have to see. And increases the ally 100 energy. And 100% control immunity. That's kind of huge. We'll have to see how that plays out. I'm kind of interested to see how she works out. And don't worry, guys. We will be using her tonight on the Lights Army account. We're going to test her out. We're going to build her to E5. And we're guaranteed to get her to E5, especially with that bonus copy for swapping. It's going to be pretty good. So not bad, not bad. Um, Yeah, should be pretty good. I think... I think this will be a fun hero to play with. I'm really hoping it ends up being really strong because Abyss really, really needs the love. All right, it is time to pick that 17,000 subscriber winner to win that iOS account. So let's throw in that link. Let's filter it by Aspen. If you guys remember, Aspen was the keyword. Let's check it out. Let's see who is. Actually, let's see how many people actually put the word Aspen. I know there was like over a thousand comments on this one. You guys are going crazy with these giveaway comments. All right, 829 people are entered. Let's see who the winner is of the iOS account. So congratulations to Panto Aspen the Goat. Congratulations, man. Make sure you hit me up on Discord and we will get you your account. So that about wraps it up. No giveaways for YouTube right now. We just did that iOS giveaway. So congratulations to the winner. We will though have a bunch of CD key giveaways and probably $10 gift card giveaways on our 24 hour live stream starting tonight on Twitch when the event goes live. We're gonna build Ignis. We're gonna build a ton of Russell copies. We're gonna have some fun tonight, guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So come on by, have a chance to win some of those awesome gift cards or CD keys. And I'll see you guys there.